Previously on Paradise Beach. Today on Paradise Beach. Tape dancing. Tape dancing. Tape dancing. Tape dancing. Beta Max. VHS. Cassette. Tape dancing. Tape dancing. And now, a co presenter of 1998 CBBC Slimford Christie's Record Breakers. Give him a big hand. It's your host, it's Jack Latimer. Hello. Hello and yes, welcome to episode four of Tape Dancing. We're kicking off the... My name is Jack Latimer. We're kicking off this week with some fun yoga for kids with Barbara Curry. And it's, uh, the, it's also called Colin the Cobra's Forest of Secrets. So there's, uh, there's two names for that. Uh, but if, if, if you've got kids, now's the time to get them out. <laughs> uh, don't let them watch episode three. If you don't have kids, I'm sure you can get involved in this. I think most of it's sort of watered down standard yoga. Um, yoga is essentially a cross between sports stretching and having a nap. But Barbara has managed to make a whole video about it for kids. So let's have a look at fun yoga for kids. Hello and welcome to Colin the Cobra's Forest of Secrets. Fun yoga for your kids. Oh, thank you for having us, Colin. We're here in Colin the Cobra's fabulous Forest of Secrets. And with his help, and with all the help of the forest friends, we're going to get fit, and we're going to have some fun. Loosen the body. Come on, up we go. A little bit more. That's nice. If you wobble a bit at first, that's normal. Just lift the leg now. See who can hold it for longest. Oh, dear, this is a really fierce position. You have to snort. That's what they do, isn't it? Big snort from Joe and James. <coughs> Wonderful. See if you can snort at home as well, won't you? <coughs> Big snort. <coughs> Wonderful. Doesn't that make you feel better? Gives you energy. Moo like a cow. <coughs> Breathe in. Aim the chin to the knees. Then your chest and then your chin. And relax. That was very good. One more. Breathe in now. This is a really strong movement, but just go gently, you'll love it. Up we come, back we go, up you come, and well done. Very well done, that was great. Now, if you can, bring those toes up and touch the head. And Joe. That's great, you are clever, that's so good. And that was great, well done. Very good, thanks, thanks Barbara, that's brilliant. You did very well. Thank you, Barbara Curry, for that. We're going to a commercial break. Have you seen my razor? I think it's on the cabinet. Uh, whose is that? Nothing to do with me. What do you think you're playing at? It's not mine. Don't look at I me. I thought we told you to be careful. John, I think we're the ones who should have been careful. There may be trouble ahead But while there's moonlight and music and love and romance Let's face the music and dance If your family suddenly grows, so too will your responsibilities That's why Allied Dunbar financial plans adapt So you can face the unexpected but Let's face the music and dance Ally Dunbar, for the life you don't yet know. Now, time for some serious stuff. Have you ever been angry at the council for any reason whatsoever? Have you ever had a problem with them and not known what to do? Have you ever known, have you ever not known how to deal with a problem that you've had with the council? Well, this next man, Philip, did have a problem and he uh, took revenge. This is Philip's story. Revenge was the best thing that ever happened. I'd been dumped on, and it was my chance to dump back. What I did was revenge, just blatant revenge. Um, 
the judge said it was wanton damage, and um, yeah, it was. <laughs> what, what can I say? Um, 23 council executives' cars, including BMWs and Volvos, were wrecked today in a revenge attack. The man responsible is believed to have 30 complaints against the council, including their failure to fix his garden shed. £37,000 worth of damage is estimated to have been done. When the council get things wrong, it's you that has to do the running round. It's your phone bill that gets run up, your time that's been wasted. There was problem after problem after problem. The more I complain, the less anybody wants to hear. It was just a nightmare, a total and utter nightmare. There you go, yes. Well done, Philip. Here at Tape Dancing, we support Philip's actions. We do not, we would recommend not doing what he did, but we think that what he did was justifiable in his head. New Argos catalogue, take one. Oh, cut, cut, cut! I said take one! The New Argos catalogue is out now. Time for some programming for the feminist movement. Uh, the feminist movement is massively on the rise at the moment, and so is the number of TV shows made about feminism. So let's see this next, let's see the next one they, they've made. Um, move over, darling. You have all the power. I'm paid less per hour. You'd better beware. You don't. Every night this week, we're looking at different aspects of modern women's lives. We're trying to see what women can achieve, what holds us back, and what the next decade may have in store for us. Tonight, we look at how a woman is made, to try to discover what it is that shapes us into something so different from a man. And the trouble is, all you male viewers have no real idea what it's like to be female. So, we set up an experiment to show you how terrible life is when you have hormones that force you against your will into expensive clothes shops. We felt you should hear what it's like to be a woman from someone you can really trust, a man. Actor Stephen Rashbrook has agreed to take part in our experiment. Hey, ain't we met someplace? What a face, whoever you are. I wish I could remember your name. should be able to give us a special insight into what it's like to be a woman. Our experiment will only work if his disguise is entirely convincing. Make noise. I see. Okay, how much is that? That's two pounds. All right. I'm having to push the voice up a bit, and so I'm, and I'm going away from, deliberately trying to go away from being a man. So I find I am coming up with this woman who's a bit of a, a sort of flopsy bunny, really. I've had to bust Waterloo from the end there. But so far, I find people have taken a great deal of time to um, explain things to me. Excuse me, there's a 38 bus going near here. 38 bus? Yeah. 38. Not running down here, oh, right. oh. Sometimes it seems as though people take uh, a little longer to explain things than is strictly necessary. But don't the 12 go along here? Yeah, you chicken it over. It's our So why are people taking longer to explain things to him? Is it because they don't expect his brain to work so fast? Or are they simply more helpful and protective towards a woman? And we know which one of these two is more likely to end up running the Bank of England. They have the same parents, they'll be brought up together in the same household. Why is it more likely that James will earn a third more than Georgina? Yeah, that's enough of, that's enough of that there. Um, look, I think that everyone's agreed that women should be paid the, the same amount as men. We all want world peace and we all want an, uh, the eradication of poverty. There are a lot of good people out there doing calculations and trying to figure this stuff out, so, you know. The words be patient spring to mind. Let's go to another commercial break. I'll bring you a little something. What would you like? I like something exciting and a toy and some chocolate. But that's three wishes all at once. It's not possible. But it is possible with Kinder Surprise, excitement, a toy and extra milky chocolate. Kinder Surprise, three wishes in one. 
What's happening in Paradise Beach? And these are the times. Good oh boy. Go, Mitch. That's it, boy. That's it. How are they going? Oh, Mitch is doing pretty good. Got what it takes to be as good as you one day, Kirk, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. It's hard to. It's it's actually quite hard to be sorry for someone who lives in paradise. Okay, this is the last week we'll be running this competition. If this is you, you know what I'm about to say. We've been running this for a few episodes now, and um, still haven't found you. So uh, um, there's you know there's chocolates, there's box, there's a box set. If you don't want it, if you, if you know that it's waiting for you and you don't want it, just let us know. Tapedancing at live.co.uk. We can move on. We can do another Is This You competition. I thought I was be, I'd be running this competition one every week. We've had the same, we've been looking for the same guy for four episodes. So if you, know, if you do know him, if you know what's happened to him, maybe something terrible has happened to him. Let us know. Tape dancing at live.co.uk. Police said they seized hashes with a street value of more than a hundred million pounds. A hundred million pounds worth of top grade hashish. It's only six weeks since they seized about 17 tons of hashish. The police are still looking for the leaders of the gang. <laughs> 